absolutely. And uh, riveting, actually. Yes. <laughs> it kind of gives you some chills. I'd like to say hello to some of our friends watching online tonight. Billy Dice got an unexpected night off. Phil Michael checking in as well. Tammy Frankhauser, Jared Bozick, and Billy Beaner. He must yeah. have a night off from refing tonight as well. Yes, he may. We're hoping for a good one tonight. Bell Vernon and Laurel Highlands. Again, the starters on the Mustang side. Lucas Suchovitz, Ethan Koffler, Jaden Ringer, Brennan Varney, and Shane Layton on the Bell Vernon side. Curtis Wade, Zion Moore, Trevor Kovach, Alonzo Wade, and Tommy Davis. The same five starters we saw for Bell Vernon on Friday night against Uniontown. Well, Brian, if uh, Bell Vernon had a scouting report or saw the film with the Laurel Highlands Albert Gallatin game, you've got to believe that they're going to come out and try to pressure the Mustangs. The, the Albert Gallatin uh, Colonials put on a half-court press and then a full-court press, and the Mustangs had some difficulty getting through those defenders and uh, caused a lot of turnovers and easy hoops on the other side. So you might look for Bell Vernon to put some pressure on here early. Yeah, Coach Smith told us during the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show the official turnover count was 29. I had it You said for 30. You're close. <laughs> you were close, but either way, 20, 29 or 30 is not good. No, and then we'll try to keep track of that. Not something that we want to harp on too much, but uh, it is a big part of any high school basketball game, securing, security of the ball, getting opportunities to shoot the ball. If you don't turn the ball over, you get a lot more opportunities at the hoop, and uh, even with the percentages that are shot from the three-point range and uh, at high school level, the more you can put it up, the more you can put it in. Officials for tonight, Dave Harmon, Bob Fisher, and Mark Holtzman as the Leopards get set to get introduced and things certainly filling up on the far side of the court as well. We're probably about 50 to 75 percent full here on the near side for Bell Vernon and Laurel Highlands. You mentioned these two schools met three times last year. Laurel Highlands winning all three meetings. The first one rather close at Laurel Highlands. The Mustangs were able to eke out a 69-64 win there. Won 78-59 here at Bell Vernon. And then, of course, that exciting come-from-behind overtime win, 75-71 in the WPIL quarterfinals at Peters Township. Probably one of the more memorable games from last season. Absolutely. I had the uh, opposite game that night and uh, was able to listen to you guys on the way home. And uh, just listening, I could feel the intensity. Yes, back and forth. And for a while, we thought Laurel Highlands was in big-time trouble. They trailed by double digits in the second half of that game before rallying back to get that overtime win. And Bell Vernon had a number of players that ended up fouling out in that contest as well. And the Mustangs were able to move on to the semifinal round of the WPIL playoffs. Of course, got eliminated there and made a run to the PIAA quarterfinals. They were knocked out by Lincoln Park at Norwin High School a season ago. So the Leopards and the Mustangs, first of two meetings between these two schools during the 2023 2024 season. It'll be Brennan Varney to take the opening tip off for the Mustangs, wearing number 25, a 6'4 junior Ford, came in averaging three points a game. And Tommy Davis at 6'6, jumping for the Bell Vernon Leopards as Dave Harmon steps in. We'll get the Section 3 4A game underway from Bell Vernon High School. Nice to have you along with us for a Tuesday night of high school basketball. The Mustangs control the opening tap back to Jaden Ringer. We'll send it across to Ethan Koffler. They play catch now off on the far wing. Such a a quick three off the side of the rim. No good. And Trevor Kovach tracks down the rebound for Bell Vernon. And Luca likes to shoot, Gary. He sure does. As a left-hander will let it go from far range, and I think that's why he's getting the start here. Maybe get some three-pointers for the Mustangs. Trevor Kovacs driving, missing Tommy. Davis able to clean it up, Davis. getting the opening two points of the game. So Tommy Davis, who came in averaging 10 points and 10 rebounds a game, has the left up 2-0 and a quick steal, and taking it right to the rack and scooping it up and in. It's Curtis Wade. So four on answer right out of the gates for the Leopards. Just 40 seconds in, and the Mustangs having a little trouble here with this Bell Vernon press. And Trevor Kovach forces another turnover. And right out in front, Curtis Wade laying it up and in again, Gary. And it's 6-0, less than a minute in. Couldn't even get it past half court. And this is three in a row, three turnovers, three possessions. Curtis Wade knocking it away over to Zion. Three near side, a bit too strong. Backside rebound picked up by Tommy Davis. Able to keep it alive. Back to Trevor Kovach. Little ball fake to Davis again on the elbow. Sent out far side. A little touch there from Curtis. Back down to Trevor. They play catch. Curtis gets it back. Drives back on the far side. Shot attempt no good. And finally a Mustang rebound. Brought down by Shane Layton as Laurel Highlands brings it across. Such of it's putting it off the glass. No good there. Zion another rebound for Bell Vernon. They're coming back. 
back with numbers. Bounces it off to his right again to Curtis Wade. His floater on the near baseline on the side of the glass. Now Laurel Highland's trying to break here with Ethan Koffler. And Koffler getting fouled there by Tommy Davis, who had the SWAT, will be called for the foul in the process. Well, just what we were not hoping for here from the Mustangs early on, already three turnovers and the press being applied by Bell Vernon, just providing all kind of problems for the Mustangs, getting in cross court and see if Koffler can put the Mustangs on the board, trailing here early. He's 76% for the season and knocks down the first of two free throw attempts here. Ethan, 28 of 37 from the foul line entering this game. Laura Highlands is a team, 99 of 152, 65% so far this year. Ethan now for a second of two Mustangs down six to one. It stays six to one as Ethan unable to connect on that free throw as Trevor Kovach tracks down the rebound here for Bell Vernon. Left's working left to right as we describe it. Brian Morozak along with Gary Frank Hauser tonight. Snags Donnie Santor behind the camera. Nick Barcheck back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Zion over to Trevor Kovach. Bounce pass on the inside to Davis. Trying to fight off the double team. Keeps it alive. Back to Kovach on the wing. Works off to his left on the elbow. Kicks it out far side over to Zion. Zion far wing. Back high on the left again to Curtis Wade. Now Zion again on the far side. He'll spot up for the three. It's on the way and good as Zion Moore swishes that one in, Gary. He came in 1,269 career points, averaging 27 points a game. And that three gives Bell Vernon a 9-1 lead. And John Smith wants a timeout. We'll take it as well. 554 left here in the first. 9-1 left. We're back at 60 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724 626-8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and... Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Hey, maybe it's just time for a new set of dentures. If that's the case, check out Uniontown Dental Associates, located at 7829 National Pike in Uniontown. They can make you new dentures faster than other offices, and in most cases, can offer same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Just call their office for your appointment today at 724-438-0241 or visit their Facebook page for more information. Back here at Bell Vernon High School, Leopards with the basketball after another Mustang turnover. Here's Zion up top trying to go to Tommy Davis. Actually going to have been a hold there on Layton. But the Mustangs find the loose ball and they have numbers. will bounce pass forward to Koffler. Couldn't finish out in front off of the flexion. Zion picks up the rebound. Leps up 9-1. to one. Sent forward to Curtis Wade. Voter no good. Gets his own rebound and lays it back up and in. So a nice start for Curtis Wade. Gary is 6 of Bell Vernon's 11 and the Leps lead at 11-1. to Laura Highlands is struggling getting the ball in. They're going to cough it up again. This time it's Alonzo Wade finding the loose ball, trying to spin on the inside, trying to flip it off to his brother Curtis. They got deflected into the hands of Laura Highlands' Brennan Varney. He'll send it off to Luke Martin, who just checked in. Martin's been impressive off the Mustang bench so far this season. He has, and uh, I'd like, like to see him as uh, Coffler takes a long three. No good. Loose Fighting ball. for the rebound there. Good hustle there by Shane Layton, battling with Alonzo Wade. Got a jump ball, though. The possession arrow favors Bell Vernon. So Leps up 10 already, still 4.48 left here in the opening quarter. The Mustangs without a field goal so far. Their only point coming on a made free throw from Ethan Koffler. Here's Curtis Wade on the far wing. Back high on the left again to Alonzo Wade. Touch off to Davis on the elbow. Kicks it out to Trevor Kovach. Off to his left. We'll pivot back to Zion, who's fronted there by Koffler. Now Alonzo Wade flips over to Curtis. Pass down low and a little fade away good from Zion. And Zion now with five, and the Leps have a 13-1 lead. 4-18 left here in the first. Mustang struggling getting it in. Here's Koffler trying to bring it across center, close to an over and back. It is an over and back. That was not an over and back. I beg to differ. He has to have all three across, which he did not before he went back, but it's a turnover nonetheless. How many is that so far? Seven. And we've played only four minutes of basketball here at Bell Vernon High School. Mustangs down 12. Trevor Kovach out of the far corner, rotates to the wing, now back up top. Goes cross court near side again to Zion. He'll take another three. It's on the way, in and out. Long rebound and control there by the Mustangs' Jaden Ringer. Ringer four to Ethan Koffler. Koffler on the near wing, has a little operating room. Pull it back to Jaden. He'll come left of the lane, slipped, and he'll be called for the travel. 
Mustangs now checking in Sevi Vecchiola and Lucas Suchovitz for Brennan Varney and Jaden Ringer. Still 3.45 left here in the opening quarter. Laurel Highlands down 13-1. As Trevor Kovach will work out of his own zone. Picked up by Luca Martin. Bounces it over to Curtis Wade. And now Kovach again up top. Kovach edges the zone. Over to Curtis Wade to get on the far wing. Put it back to Trevor. Hauls it out in front of the Mustang bench. Now comes inside. Will flip off to Davis who floats it up and rattles it home. Tommy Davis, four here in the opening quarter. A 15-1 lead for Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands. Luke Martin floater out in front. Good. So finally, the Mustangs get a field goal. Comes off their bench. Courtesy of the sophomore Luke Martin, and it's 15 to 3. 307 left here in the opening quarter, and a rare Bell Vernon turnover. As losing the handle in front of the Leopards cheerleaders, there was Alonzo Wade. Mustangs sitting back in that 2 3 zone, trying to preserve their uh, bench, I would think. They need to maintain these players in the game. Now really, at this point, Gary, you're down 12, just looking for some form of positivity. That's, there might be some kind of moisture on yeah, the court. That's twice the second in a row. time somebody slipped in that area. They might want to clean that up. You saw Ringer go down. Now Suchovitz go down. And why isn't anybody checking the floor down there? Because know. something's going on. There was a just walked through there. <laughs> he didn't slip. So That's Tommy Davis' second personal foul. And it'll send the Mustang Sevi Vecchiola to the free throw line. So Davis picking up a couple early. It's the left's 15, the Mustangs three. Vecchiola first of two free throws, no good. Sevi came in 50% for the season, five of 10. Sophomore averaging three and a half points a game. And now for the first time tonight, Golani, that's Dominic Golani checking into the game. Six foot junior guard, he averages three a game. The big guy. Gave the Leps some good minutes against Uniontown on Friday as well. One of the officials talking to Davis here on the near side. I don't think he's explaining he to him it. how he fouled. Yep. Uh. Vecchiola, second of two free throws, good. So the first point of the game for Sevi Vecchiola, and three of the four points for Laura Highlands off their bench so far as they trail 15 to 4. 2.45 left here in the first. Galani sending it out to Trevor Kovach. His three ball well off the mark and will go out of play and back over to Laurel Highlands. And the one area they're trying to get Kovach to work on a little bit more, Gary, is his shooting percentage. Actually came into the game below 25% from the field and around 20% from outside the three-point arc. They'd like to get those numbers a little bit higher, but he's on the ball defensively here, forcing another turnover. And Trevor sends it over to Zion. Back near side, Galani. Inside, Alonzo. Back out to Trevor. Good look here. With this three ball, no good. Offensive rebound, Zion out in front. Goes fouled, going back up. And he'll have a pair of free throws, Zion Moore. Well, you're right about that. And Kovach is going to take some shots. He's, he's going to be left open a lot as they go throughout the rest of the season with uh, Wade and Moore out there pumping them in from long range. You look at Zion. He's around 45%, Gary, from outside the three-point arc and close to 50% from the field, which is remarkable. So he knocks down the first of two free throw attempts here. He came in 63% from the foul line, 35 of 55. Bell Vernon as a team, 64 of 118 for 54%. They actually shot free throws pretty well against Uniontown, 13 of 16, 81% against the Red Raiders. On Friday night, as Zion makes both here, it's 17-4. Leopards over the Mustangs with 217 left here in the first. It looks like... Belvern is staying with that man-to-man, -man, and that's a runner that's no chance by Suchovich. Look out here, coming back, Curtis Wade will lay it up and in. Curtis, Curtis Wade, eight already here in the opening quarter for Bell Vernon. The left's now lead by 15 at 19 of four, just six minutes in. Luke Martin bouncing it off to Cawthorn across on the far side of Layton, setting up a two-on-one. The Shane wow, leads on the inside, good finish. a lot finish. of contact there. Becciola had the rebound and then gets fouled underneath. And Sevy would head back to the free throw line where he's one for two so far here in this opening quarter. So 19-4, Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands. Foul went there on Dom Galani. His first team fourth. Now Jaden Ringer will check in on the Laurel Highlands side. Vecchiola first of two free throws, good. He's two of three from the free throw line. If you're Laurel Highlands at this juncture of the game, Gary, just gotta try to find a way to chip away. And right, and no need to be in a hurry trying to break the press. Just make good passes, cut to the middle, 
And as Vecchiola misses the second, but an offensive rebound there by Layton. He gets fouled. Should be in the act as well. So the Mustangs an opportunity to make a little more hey here at the foul line. That one going on Alonzo Wade. His first team fourth. Shane Layton, who so far this season is five of six from the free throw line, 83%. Came out averaging just over four points a game. We get two here for the Mustangs. First of two from Shane on the way in good. First point of the game for Shane Layton, the 6'2 senior forward. And we're back on Friday night, another pair of high school basketball games here on WMBS. Gary will be with TJ for the Mustangs hosting the South Marlins Skies. I'll be with Tony down Elizabeth Ford for the Uniontown Red Raiders and the Elizabeth Ford Warriors as Layton makes both free throws. And it's 19-7, Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands with 146 left here in the opening quarter. Mustangs doing most of their damage from the foul line. Yes. Look at the Mustang points so far in this game. Five of the seven from the free throw line. Galani up top again to Zion. Zion right down the lane. Had four Mustangs around him and still got the floater to go. So nine here in the opening quarter for Zion Moore. It's a 21 7 lead for Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands. Here's Jaden Ringer right to the lane. Flips it back out to Suchovitz. High arcing quick wow. through it off the side of the glass. And Lucas. Shot has not been on tonight on the Laurel Highlands side. Here's Alonzo back to Zion. Now Alonzo again coming out of the corner. Picked up there by Varney. Set underneath to Curtis Wade who got fouled. That make will not count. And a Mustang timeout. Was there not a foul there, Gary? Yes, there was. I don't think the other official even saw it, it either. on such of it. Mustang foul number one. Saved the bucket, Yes, actually. it did, yes. <laughs> I don't think John Smith saw it. I don't think the second official saw it. They're getting ready to play on. Coach Smith was going to call a timeout. He's out on the court <laughs> talking to such of it. And at the line is Curtis Wade, his first opportunity tonight at the line. He's 5 of 10 for the season and makes the first of two here. Nine points here in the opening quarter now for Curtis, La Curtis Wade. The Bell Vernon lead at 22 to 7 over Laurel Highlands with 103 left here in the first. Curtis now a second of two. This one off the back iron, no good. I think we had a lane violation. Nope, that's a foul going to be a underneath. foul yep. on the rebound. Let's see who that, that, that could be fifth. That's the fifth foul. They should be at the line, right? Went on Galani, unless they called it player control, but I don't think that was No, that was control. a rebound foul. He yep. should be at the line. See if they pick it up. They should buzz that's it five fouls. Table. Be at the line. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I took you to point it out to them, Gary. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You're like the uh, official. fourth official. You're the fourth yeah. official on the mic. That's his second foul on Galani. And it will be two down on the other side with 102 left here in the opening quarter. Helping everybody out tonight, Gary. It'll be Brennan Varney shooting the free throws. Varney 9 of 13 so far this season, 69%. Looking for his first points of the evening. First of two for Varney up on the way and no good. Now Varney for a second of two. These guys still might think it's last year, waiting for seven to go up. I guess. Shoot. And Varney misses both. Didn't help out the Mustangs. They do get a tie up here off the rebound between Vecchiola and Galani. We'll get a jump ball call to the Mustangs, get it this time off the possession arrow. Uh, nobody gets credit for a rebound there. And Luca Martin will send it in here on the Laurel Highland side. Into Varney, big guy outside the arc. Up top, Sunch, but he's, he's going to shoot. Try it again. This time off the front of the rim, no good. Varney gets the offensive rebound. Missed there on the putback attempt. The ball go out of bounds to the far side. They're going to rule this last touch by Laurel Highlands going out. to be Bell Vernon's basketball. Such of it's really struggling from the field, Gary. Can't find the range yet, and uh, he's going to keep letting them go, though. Zion now out of his own zone. A 22-7 lead for Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands. Just 40 seconds left here in this opening quarter. He might as well wait for the last shot, but no probably go. Zion here between the circles. No look feed off to Alonzo Wade. On the back door, Trevor Kovach cuts. Couldn't finish there on the far baseline. And Sevi Vecchiola had the rebound, then lost it to Galani. Had a heads up play there. Throw it off of Sevi and out to retain possession for the Leopards. Got to count that as a turnover. Yes. So Galani heads up play there on the Bell Vernon side. And Alonzo Wade will send it into Zion. Rotate back up to the wing. Good screen there from Galani. Almost lost yes. the handle. Zion able to keep it alive back to Trevor Kovach. He'll flip it out of the corner there to Curtis Wade. Now Curtis backs off here with 11 seconds left in the quarter. Resets here high on the left. 
over to Kovac. Kovac trying to feed it back over to Galani. Leans and misses. Rebound, Varney. Off to Ringer. And he'll be unable to get a shot away. His time expires after one quarter of play. So it's 22 to 7. Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands after one. We're back with a second and 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one on one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest, now try the best. NovaCare. Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. 22-7, to the Bell Vernon Leopards leading the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. The Uniontown basketball coaching staff having a little watch party tonight. Rob Kesmarski and Ware Gladman watching the game along with Courtney Kesmarski. Hello to them as well. Manny Dice watching the game with Billy. So hello to Manny as well. Rich Lacey also checking in. He says the Mustangs are going to win 56-55. to I don't know about that. They're down 22-7 to right now as we start the second quarter with the Leopards working left to right as we described as Trevor Kovach has the basketball up top there to Curtis Wade, back to Zion. Sent out to Trevor Kovach, who eyes up the three. It's too strong. Loose underneath. Alonzo Wade with the rebound. He's double teamed and fouled. That'll go well, on Luke Martin. Off the mark also on the uh, Bell Vernon side is Kovach, but they're going to keep letting him Take those shots, try to. Yes. If such of it's as yet to score on the Laurel Highland side, Kovac has yet to score on the Bell Vernon side as Alonzo Wade cuts on the inside. Shot the left hand, no good. And Luke Martin had the rebound there for Laurel Highland. Gave it away. And tried to send it out, no one home. Trevor Kovac says, thank you very much. Over to Zion, jumper, far elbow. He's good. not going to miss. Nope, he is red hot. Zion Moore, 11 already. The Leopards lead up to 24 to 7 over Laurel Highlands here at the 719 mark of the first. Here's Suchovitz back through center. Bounce pass over to Vecchiola. Vecchiola Man, slipped that, again the same there's spot. There's something on the floor there. And Vecchiola kind of held his knee there. Why are they not checking that position on the court? You've had three, three guys go down on the same portion of the court, and nobody's over there trying to wipe it up. There's got to be something there. Just bring out a mop. I mean, just for the <laughs> simple yeah. fact of bringing it up, just wow. to make sure there's something not there. It's like bizarro world, Gary. Yeah. What is going on? Man, there's Guys are slipping. Wade's Check checking it, it. Alonzo's checking it, and he can't figure it out. It's the exact same spot, though. Three guys yeah. have slipped there on the cut. Yeah, they're looking at it. They're saying they can't understand it. So, Well, good to see Sevy getting up after he went down. Wow. Now Ethan Koffler will send it back in. Maybe it's the Mustangs' Nikes. Yes. Varney sending it off to Ringer. Little ball fake off to his right. Coming free for the quick two is Shane Layton. So Layton is first field goal. Has four points. Made a couple of free throws earlier. 24-9. Leps over the Mustangs. We go under seven minutes left before halftime. Trevor Kovach off to Alonzo Wade. Back in the corner again to Zion. Feet nice on the pass. inside. And Curtis Wade comes free for another quick two. So both Curtis Wade and Zion have 11 each. It's 26-9, leps over the Mustangs. Koffler, a quick three, a little bit short. Rebound tipped around. Varney finds it and rattles it home out in front. Renan Varney, his first two of the game. 26-11, leps over the Mustangs. 6-32, left here in the second quarter. Zion back over to Curtis Wade. A little ball fake on the Ooh, inside of Tommy Davis through the double team. Foul there. Still was able to get the shot to go up, but it came up a little bit short. A little push off there on Layton as he tried to go to the hoop, but no call. And the ball went out of bounds off of Laurel Highlands. So it'll be Bell Vernon's basketball. And Jude Minetti will check in. Minetti had nine against Uniontown on Friday. She played pretty well off the bench. 6'3 sophomore. Saw him launching some threes in the JV game. See his first action here in the varsity game tonight. Inbounds pass goes nice to Davis. Nice block there by Varney. Yes. Varney with the swat. Leps retain. Zion from way deep. His shot attempt rattles out. I think Minetti was no check that Davis the last to touch it underneath. It'll be Mustang basketball. At 6.15 left before halftime. 
in our live video stream on WMBS tonight, courtesy of attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson, Mundorf LLP, and There's Stewart another, Collision, another Mustang going down. I think it is down. the Mustang shoes. That such of it's went down up top. Coffer missed on the shot attempt, and Tommy Davis taking the rebound away from Brennan Varney. As Alonzo Wade sends it forward again to Zion. Zion right of the lane. Back out to Trevor Kovach, eyeing the three, and this time again short. Offensive rebound, Davis. Missed on the putback attempt. Third attempt on the possession. Davis another miss. They'll get a fourth crack at it. And finally getting it to go is Alonzo Wade on the backside. So three it took rebounds. four looks, Gary, but Alonzo finally wow. got it to go. And the another Mustangs turn, turn it over. Minetti with the steal. Shovel forward. Looking for the alley-oop. Won't be a dunk, but it'll be a little touch-up and in for Zion Moore. And Moore with 13. The lead at 19 and 30 to 11. Mustangs cough it up again. Kovach Need forward. Alonzo Wade gets the two to go. 32 to 11. All Bell Vernon, another run. Going up 21 on the Mustangs. Now Leighton on the near side. Had it knocked away. I think Zion's going to be called for the foul. He will. Foul, number two, four, if you're Laurel Highlands, you cannot allow those type of Bell Vernon runs if you want to try to remain in the game right now. It's gotten ugly. It'll be Jaden Ringer to send it in front of the Laurel Highlands bench. Into Ethan Koffler. Back cross court near side, a Ringer and a cross. Ringer now right of the lane. Coming near baseline, kicked in the corner, late nine up the three. On the side of the rim, no good old push called underneath as Varney went down. They were getting a push called here on Galani. This could be his third. You're right on that. Third team foul of the quarter. Against the Leopards as Koffler sends it in again to Varney. Back to Ethan again. He'll look for the three from the near side of the back iron, no good. Backside rebound controlled there by Alonzo Wade of Bell Vernon. Alonzo back into the forecourt, picked up there by Ringer. Comes far wing, a little spin wow, between defenders nice spin and the finish. Move. Alonzo Wade, these Leps playing some basketball tonight. They're up 23 at 34 to 11, and the Mustangs turn it over again. Bounce pass forward, Ringer intended there underneath for Varney. Bounced out of bounds, and the Leps get it back again. Is that Alonzo's first two? Alonzo with six tonight. Hmm, okay. He'll be sent over to Galani. Here on the near side, a little touch in to Dane Doherty, who just checked in for the first time. Missed there on the outside. They get an offensive rebound underneath, and Alonzo Wade gets fouled going back up. I have Alonzo Wade, Gary, for three two-point field goals so far in the game. We can double-check the numbers if we have to at halftime. Nonetheless, we get an opportunity here at the free throw line as well. Came in 5 of 11, 45%. First of two here for Alonzo, rattling out. Leopards led 22 to 7 over Laurel Highlands after one. Mustangs just managing a pair of field goals from Brennan Varney and Shane Layton here in the second quarter. Now Alonzo, a second of two free throws here on the way, and again, no good. Scrum for the loose ball rebound, and the Mustangs' Sevi Vecchiola able to control it. Touching it off to Ethan Koffler and across. Koffler bounced it off of Varney's foot. Goes out of bounds and back over to Bell Vernon. Another Laurel Highlands turnover. Now Trevor Kovach and Curtis Wade checking back in on the Bell Vernon side as Dom Galani will take a seat, it appears. Nope, he's no, he's not. In. It's going to be uh, Alonzo Wade and Tommy Davis. Both Wades. Uh, yep. Oh, you're right. Alonzo and Curtis sitting down. Davis was already on the bench. And Doherty turning it over there for Bell Vernon. The Mustangs send it right back. As Galani finds the loose ball, back to Trevor Kovach. He'll cut inside and get his first two points of the game. So Trevor Kovach into the scoring column. Junior guard came in averaging eight and a half points a game, and Coach Smith wants a full timeout. So it's Bell Vernon by 25, left 36, Mustangs 11, 401 left before halftime, and we're back in 60 on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Let's face it, 
sometimes local is better. Locally grown, locally sourced, shop local, eat local. But what about local expertise? At Allstate, Russ Playho is just that, a local. So contact Uniontown Allstate agent Russ Playho today at 724-439-9700. Russ can help you with the protection that's right for you and the things you love most. Allstate, are you in good hands? Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, savings vary. Life insurance offered through Allstate Life Insurance Company and Allstate Assurance Company, Northbrook, Illinois, and American Heritage Life Insurance Company, Jacksonville, Florida. 3.54 left here in the second quarter. All Bell Vernon. Left's leading the Mustangs now 36-11 to after that make from Brennan Varney, giving him four here in the second quarter. It's 36-13. Also another hello. Bobby Ruggieri wanting us to pass along a hello. She's watching at home tonight as well, Gary. And a little floater good there from Curtis Wade. And Curtis now with 13. Long-time Mustang fan. Yes, 38-13. to 3.30 left before halftime. Here's Ethan Koffler across. Floater from the far elbow, no good. Varney, the offensive rebound. A little turn and shoot out in front. Another miss. And the rebound pulled down there by Dane Doherty of Bell Vernon. He set off to Trevor Kovach. Lups now slowing things down, Gary, with a 25-point lead. Might as well. Doherty pulling it baseline. Galani will hand off on the block. far block. And Layton with a block there on Galani, but kept alive on the offensive glass. They'll pull it back out to Trevor Kovach again, who barks out of play. Doherty posting up, no-look feed off to Curtis Wade, who drives nice and scores. Nice pass. Curtis, six here in the second, 15 for the game. And had a whistle. Not sure why it allow the Leps to make a couple I think it was another turnover. That happened so fast, we didn't even see it. And the Mustangs yep. copped it up again. Wow. Alonzo into Trevor Kovac. Doherty on the post up, and these are just well set up, half schooled sets. As Zion misses there on the jumper. Ringer set it off to Layton. Ringer again, near side, Koffler for a three, ring it up. Ethan Koffler, first field goal of the game, coming from outside the Arkansas Mustangs. First made three, Gary, coming here with 225 left before halftime. Kovach over to Curtis Wade. Missed there. We got over the back call here on Tommy Davis. That's going to be his third. You have Davis and Golani both with three apiece on the Bell Vernon side. That's the fourth team foul for the quarter with uh, 218 to go. Next foul, the Mustangs will be at the line shooting two. And Laura Highlands without both Antoine and Aiden Black tonight if you're just joining us. Certainly leaving Laura Highlands shorthanded. 25 points a game out of their line. Wow. There's a home run pass going nowhere. That's good thought, and he was open, but yes. just overthrew him. Ringer intended for Martin. Ringer says that's on me. And the Leps will inbound inside the Laurel Highland zone, leading by 24 at 40 to 16. 218 left here in the second quarter. Little alley oop off the inbounds pass. Try to throw it up there for Zion. Couldn't haul it in. And Vecchiola finds the loose ball and struggling to bring it across. And they're going to call a foul here on Zion. His second. He's going to put Vecchiola at the line again. Two for four so far with 2.11 to go. Vecchiola's had four free throw attempts so far, two of four here in the game. The Mustangs have done a lot of their damage at the free throw line so far tonight. But well, they were four for 10 in the first quarter, now four for 11. They've gotten opportunities, let's put it that way. <laughs> Came in 65%, again, well below that number so far tonight. Vecchiola second of two. That one getting a little soft bounce off the back iron and in. So Vecchiola three for six. All his free points from the line. Yep. It's 40 to 17, Bell Vernon. 2.05 left before halftime. Zion out of the corner. Put it back up top, Trevor Kovac spotting up for the three, in and out. High rebound, tipped around, still loose. Sevi Vecchiola finding it, trying to cover it up. Did he get a timeout? He did, with 151 left before halftime. 40 to 17, Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands. are back at 60 for the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. My name is Terry Kahn, and I'm a paralegal at Radcliffe Law. 
now Radcliffe Martin Law. It's exciting to work with the next generation of lawyers here in Uniontown. I've worked at several firms in Uniontown and worked on cases against the big firms in Pittsburgh. And I must say, they're no match for Tripp, Bill, and Rob. Their combined caring and integrity are second to none. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys. Give us a call at 724-439-3939 or like us on Facebook. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checked and windshield cleaned? Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Basin Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station that has been serving the Uniontown area for 50 years. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, a fenced-in storage lot, and it's a AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. So we come back, Sutrovitz a miss, and Alonzo away to bucket on the other side for Bell Vernon. So it's 42 to 17 laps. Koffler coming back, got blocked there by Manetti. Koffler able to regain, put up another shot attempt. It's no good. Leighton had the rebound, had it taken away by Curtis Wade. Curtis off to Trevor Kovac. A little scoop shot attempt, no good. Ringer the rebound there for the Mustangs. We'll touch it across to Luke Martin. Martin floater right of the lane. He'll bank that one in. So Luke Martin, a second field goal. He has four. It's 42-19. Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands with 102 left before halftime. Zion bouncing it off to Manetti. Run this set a couple of times, Gary. Got to put some pressure on that uh, top of the zone there. Now Curtis Wade for three, far side of the back iron, no good. Manetti going for the save and able to keep it alive over to Alonzo Wade, who gets fouled out in front. Now going Luke Martin, his second. Third team foul of the quarter on the Mustangs, we're rolled in the act. So Alonzo Wade will shoot a pair of free throws. He's 0 for 2, has scored eight second quarter points so far. First of two free throws, good for Alonzo Wade. So nine for Alonzo, 43-19, Bell Vernon. And the Leps back in action Thursday at Albert Gallatin against the Colonials. Laurel Highlands will host South Moreland on Friday. We'll have that game for you on the WMBS Facebook page as Alonzo makes the second free throw as well to give him 10 second quarter points. Gary and TJ will have the Mustangs and the Scotties on Friday. Tony and I will be at Elizabeth Ford for Uniontown and the Elizabeth Ford Warriors as the Mustangs. Lucas Suchovitz will go to the free throw line after Trevor Kovac picks up the foul. That's the bonus again here in the second quarter for the Mustangs. So see if Suchovitz can find the range from the foul line. He's 67% so far this season. It makes go. the first of two here. His first point of the game. Our game tonight also on the South Union Township Sports Network. Brought to you there by Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown. Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and insurance agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now U.S. Digestive Health, UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, the physical therapist Jim Burns, and such of which makes the second United Bank and South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. 44 21, Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands. Final 30 seconds of the second quarter. Looks like Bell Vernon will hold for one here, and Mustangs going to sit back. Yeah, Lonzo Wade just holding here high on the left. Down to 19 seconds left. Zion looking for a little range of motion. Now comes out to the wing, takes the basketball. It's in the back in Alonzo's direction. He'll spin it off and then kick it out to Kovac. He's too strong on the three. Eight seconds left. Foul caught off the rebound here on Bell Vernon. Mustangs trying to launch one with seven seconds left. I think that was Zion. That's going to be his third. <laughs> So you have three Leopards with three fouls apiece. Zion, Dom Galani, and Tommy Davis. Mustangs going the other way to shoot. And you're going to have Ethan Koffler going to the free throw line now for Laurel Highlands. Koffler one of two so far tonight. Came into the game 28 of 37 on the season. Has scored four points here in the first half. First of two free throws here from Ethan on the way in good. So five for Ethan Koffler. Leps have doubled up the Mustangs now at 44 to 22. Gary will evolve your halftime stats. Brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Second of two free throws, good for Ethan Koffler. So six for Koffler. Leps Zion here at midcourt, trying to come between Mustangs. Kick it into the corner. Three from Curtis Wade, too strong, and that'll do it for the first half. 
44 to 23. Bell Vernon over Laurel Highland. Stay tuned for a halftime show being brought to you by the Rack of Martin Law Firm. Comes your way next year on WBS, the Tribe High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Emidar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel safely to school in the Fayette County area for more than four years. Emidar Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information about MR Transit, call 724-439-3164. 724-439-3164. Or stop by their Uniontown office at 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 61st year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Sova and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repairs, and glass installation. They'll gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they'll work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Sova and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's the goal of Ted Sova and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Take it from me, Matt Sapienza, an actual satisfied customer. Call 724-437-2351 for Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Family owned and operated for 61 years. Always proud to support local high school sports. Brewston Chiropractic Studio is the new chiropractic office in town. Located inside Spin Unlimited, just behind the Texas Roadhouse, Dr. Stephen Lint and Dr. Brooke Sova are well-versed in the latest chiropractic and soft tissue techniques to help you get out of pain and functioning at your best. Call 724-912-6505 or go online at www.brewstonwellness.com for more information or to schedule your appointment. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. For attorney Melinda Delarose, helping people with compassionate counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Delarose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Delarose at 724-437-3200. That's 724-437-3200 or online at DelaroseLaw.com. When you need a ride. of reasons to take the fact bus. Reason number 19, daydreaming. Most psychologists will agree that daydreaming is common and actually healthy for us. But most policemen will agree that daydreaming behind the wheel of a car is not healthy. At fact, they understand that daydreaming is part of your day. So let fact do the driving and you do the daydreaming. A fact bus can take you downtown to shopping plazas, the mall, or the grocery store. Fact also has a Pittsburgh commuter route Monday through Friday. Seniors ride free on all local fixed routes, and college students ride half fare with a proper student ID. All buses are handicap accessible. Fact, it makes a lot of sense. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Back here at Bell Vernon High School, 44-23. Left over the Mustangs here at halftime. Gary, is your halftime stats. They're brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Thanks, Brian, for the Mustangs. Just 23 points, 7 in the first quarter, 16 in the second quarter. 
for the Mustangs. Luka Suchovic, two for two from the line in the second period for two. Ethan Koffler with six. He has one three-pointer. Luke Martin with four. Brennan Varney with four. Shane Layton with six. And Seve Vecchiola with three. Mustangs were nine for 16 from the line. 16 opportunities at the line with Bell Vernon going into the bonus in both the first and the second quarter. For the Bell Vernon Leopards, 22 in the first, 22 in the second. Curtis Wade with 15, leading the way for Bell Vernon. Zion Moore with 13. Trevor Kovach with two. Alonzo Wade with 10, all in the second quarter. And Tommy Davis with four, just five Bell Vernon Leopards in the scoring column. They, as I said, 22 in the first, 22 in the second, and they were five for eight from the foul line. The all-important turnover category, the Mustangs with 20 first-half turnovers, Bell Vernon with just five. On the rebound side, though, the Mustangs only down 20 to 17 on rebounds, but that's because Bell Vernon's making most of their shots. Yeah, we'd actually mentioned, Gary, that the Mustangs committed 30 turnovers, actually 29 turnovers against Albert Gallatin on Friday. We thought that was high, and they're on pace for 40 tonight, so if they can buckle down and retain a little more possession in the second half of this game. A reminder that we were scheduled to also have tonight the Uniontown Southmoreland game. That game was postponed due to Southmoreland High School losing electricity today. That game will be made up on Monday, January the 22nd at 7.30. And again, we'll have more high school hoops on Friday night. Laurel Highlands will be hosting Southmoreland. That game on the WNBS and South Union Township Sports Network Facebook pages at 7.30. Uniontown also at Elizabeth Ford taking on the Warriors. That game both on the radio and on Facebook. Here at the break, 44-23, leps over the Mustangs. We're back in three and a half minutes with the second half here on WNBS, the Trim Live High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Are you looking to list or sell your house? Now is the time to let the professionals at Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty help you with all of your real estate needs. Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty has two convenient locations to better serve you. In Uniontown area, 724-437-7100. Or in Connellsville area, 724-628-7200. And speak with one of our real estate professionals. Visit our website, caldwellbanker.com. We have been proudly serving western Pennsylvania area for over 30 years and look forward to helping you with all of your real estate needs. Broker, Paul Borch, Jr. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. NovaCare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, NovaCare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatments, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Masontown office on Route 21 McClellantown Road at 724-491-5220. Does your car sound like it's saying, trade me in, trade me in, every time you start it up? Well, go to Ford of Uniontown and trade it in. That's right, your Uniontown Ford dealer is ready to assist you with a new or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV purchase. Ford of Uniontown has all the deal, all the inventory, and they are ready to deal. It has never been a better time to buy a Ford. Service is their top priority. No matter where you purchase your Ford car or truck, Ford of Uniontown will be happy to service it for you. They offer Ford trained technicians, Ford certified parts and service, one year, 12,000 mile parts warranties, and new state of the art service equipment. Call or stop in today to see the hometown service of Ford of Uniontown, Route 40 West, across from Applebee's. So listen to your car the next time you hear it say, Trade me in, trade me in. Ford of Uniontown, Route 40 at the top of the hill. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, 
State Farm is there. Emidar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel safely to school in the Fayette County area for more than four years. Emidar Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information about MR Transit, call 724-439-3164. 724-439-3164. Or stop by their Uniontown office at 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. Our Highlands with the basketball as the third quarter gets underway. Mustangs working left to right as we describe it as Ethan Koffler sends it in to Luka Suchovich. Mustangs down 21 at 44 to 23 as Koffler sends it off to Jaden Ringer. Down to Suchovich underneath. Repositions a little kick out over to Koffler. Pulls it down back in Luka's direction. He'll come near baseline driving. Got partially blocked there by Tommy Davis who finds the loose ball there for the Leps. Bounce forward by Kovac. Down to Curtis Wade who'll scoop it up and in. And boys, Curtis Wade been impressive tonight, Gary. Now at 16 points. 17. As Ringer comes back, a little scoop shot attempt on his end, no good. And Kovac, another rebound there for Bell Vernon. Kovac, fronted there by Koffler between the circles. Fires a pass down to Tommy Davis. He'll come free and lay it up and in. It's six now for Davis. And the lead at 48 to 23, 25 point advantage for the Leps over the Mustangs. Here's Koffler, far side, Leighton, a little ball fake, double team comes over. Leighton goes baseline, Ringer try to set it out in front of Varney, and Varney just had to take it away. Zion back on it on the Bell Vernon side. Zion, no look, flip over to Curtis. Curtis leaning, missing that side. Luca with a rebound there on the Laurel Highland side. Luca going across, and too far on that pass. Intercepted by Kovac, I think Stepped out of he bounds. was ruled out of bounds. The Mustangs catch a break there. Goes in the books as another turnover. Just the get it sixth back. Yes. <laughs> for Bell Vernon. Yes. <laughs> I think the official lost his whistle, too, as Jaden Ringer will actually hand the official the whistle back. And the Mustangs will trigger it in here in front of their own bench. Down 25 with 6.45 left here in the third quarter. And Gary, one week from tonight, it's the first of two meetings between Uniontown and Laurel Highlands. And he'll be played at Uniontown High School, 7.30 starts. Regardless of the circumstances, always a festive yes, affair. I'm sure it will be a full house, no matter what the records are. And now such of it's out of bounds. And the Leps will get it back. 25-point advantage at 48-23 to 23 with 6.32 left here in the third quarter. Here's Zion for Bell Vernon. Bouncing Must it over to Curtis Wade. Thanks, From trying a 1-2-2 two, two zone this yes. time. Kovac missing far elbow. And again, another offensive rebound. Zion back on it, coming to your baseline. 10-foot jumper, good. Zion Moore. 15 for Zion. And a lead at 50-23. to 23. And Gary, we're three points away here from a continuous clock on the Bell Vernon side. Koffler for three. Mustangs needed that, and they got that. Second made three of the night for Ethan Koffler, and he has nine. Mustangs now down 24 at 50-26. to 26. Here's Alonzo Wade, high on the left. Bouncing it over to brother Curtis. Now Trevor Kovac, he has an open look for three. Oh, and he'll drain he hits it. one. So Kovac, his second field goal of the game. First made three, he has five. 53-26, Bell Vernon. 5.37 left here in the third. Oh, win and out. Koffer looking for the answer back. As Gary said, it rattles out. Alonzo forward to Kovac, leaning in here on Suchovitz. And Luca will pick up the foul. With 5.30 left here in the third quarter. Well, college basketball on WMBS after this game. Pitt taking on Duke tonight. That'll be a 9 o'clock start. So tune in for that. Those TV late games are yes. tough. <laughs> Won't make it till halftime. Kovac, first of two free throws. No good. That's how I thought about the Sugar Bowl on New Year's. They had all day to play that game. I think it started at like 9 o'clock. Well, even the game last night, even though it started early, shoot, yeah. that game wasn't over till Like after 11? Yeah. Wasn't at least competitive, though, down the stretch, like the semifinal was. A lot of commercials. Yes, Kovac, second of two free throws, good. That's how you pay the bills, though. Yep. 54-26. Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands. Here's Koffler. Pulled it out, Suchovitz. High arcing three from the corner, good. Lucas Suchovitz. Mustangs knocking down a few shots here to start the third quarter. Luca with five. 54-29. 5.09 left here in the third. Here's Alonzo high on the left. On the right to Trevor Kovac. Thought about 
Going back in Zion's direction. Now send it over to Alonzo Wade. Alonzo with a ball fake. Now I'll put it up and in. Alonzo Wade with 12. 56-29 Leopards. 4-48 left here in the third quarter. Ringer over to Koffler. Koffler coming inside. Had three laps around him. Put it up. Shot attempt came up short. Alonzo Wade. Able to spin it forward up to Zion Moore. Had the open look for three, and you give him that any time, Gary. He's going to knock it down. He has 18. 59-29, and then that clock will just keep on rolling with 426 left here in the third. Pull up Jay from Koffler, no good. Tommy Davis, another rebound. Off and across to Curtis Wade. Ball was kicked there by Jaden Ringer. Saved the hoop. Yes, it did. Zion was wide open under the hoop. Now Sebi Vecchio will check in for Varney. The clock continues to roll now with 4.04 left here in the third quarter. 30-point advantage. Trevor Kovach into Curtis Wade, down to Davis. Davis leaning, a little baby hook good for Tommy Davis. Davis eight points in this game. Cameron averaging 10 points at 10 rebounds a game. That's going to be a travel on such of its. With a loss tonight, Laurel Highlands lose their eighth straight. They'll drop to 2 and 11 overall, 0 and 3 in conference play. A win will improve Belle Vernon to 7 and 3 overall, and 2 and 1 in the conference. Again, the Leps return to action Thursday night against Albert Gallatin. Mustangs back at home Friday against Southmoreland, taking on the Scotties. Here's Tommy Davis again underneath. That'll be a jump ball called as Layton got a piece of it as Davis went up. And the Leopards will get it here off the possession area. And Alonzo Wade will send it in up top. Over to Zion, a little ball fake. Now take a jumper from the foul line. In and out. Rebound here on the near side. Tracked down by the Mustangs, Jaden Ringer. Ringer back across for Laurel Highlands. Ringer trying to pull it off into the corner. Was saved there by Such. It's sent down low to Layton, and Layton on the near block. Lays it up and in for the Mustangs. The Layton two and every quarter. Has six for the game at 61-31 left. With 2.45 left here in the third. Zion up top to Alonzo. Bounce pass to his left to Curtis. Great ball movement on the backside. Tommy Davis had it, couldn't finish. We'll get it back and lay it up and in. To Tommy Davis, six here in the third, 10 for the game. 63-31 Leopards, 2.30 left here in the third. Koffler pulling it back to Ringer. Deep three in front of the Mustang bench. Rattling out. And Alonzo Wade. Another rebound there for the Leopards. Coming far wing and in. Resets up top. Trevor Kovach, open look for a three. Puts it out the front of the rim, no good. Becky Ola, another rebound there for the Mustangs. Off to Suchovitz and across. Suchovitz coming far baseline, trying to send it out in front. Kovach, the only one there on the Melvern inside alley. Oop! And what a throwdown from Zion! Two. 20 Impressive. for Zion. No doubt about it. He's an athlete. 65 another 31. Turnover. Going to do it again? No, it's, this time it's taking it up away. Yep. Curtis. Curtis Wade now with 18. So Zion, one of the highlights of the night on the Belle Vernon side, and now the lead at 36. at 67 to 31. Koffler up top for three. Good, reigning that one in. Three made threes for Ethan Koffler tonight, and a timeout with 127 left here in the third. We're back at 60 on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. Our versatility combined with our personalized approach is what sets us apart as a full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more about our services, please visit us on the web at www.k2engineering.net. K2 Engineering, where customer service is our priority. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. Back here at Belle Vernon High School, 67-34. Belle Vernon over Laurel Highlands. Of course, we saw that impressive dunk, Gary, from Zion Moore right before the break. And the Mustangs, you go back over the last four years, we've seen plenty of highlights like that on the Laurel Highlands side. Absolutely. And uh, you love to see it at the high school level. These guys are really good athletes. And 
They're showing it again here tonight, and that's going to be probably it for Zion this evening as the uh, Leopards go to the bench. You have them with 20, is correct? I do. They'll likely finish with 20. Again, a season average came in right around 27 a game. He'll likely sit here the rest of the way with the Leopards up 67 to 34. Doherty, baseline near side. Davis, 10-foot jumper, no good. Rebound tipped around. Davis gets it back. Little ball fake. Had it poked away trying to regain. Davis goes down. Mustangs find a loose basketball. Becciola trying to set it up the floor. Galani knocked it down into the hands of Trevor Kovac. He'll try to set up an alley-oop to Davis. Wasn't a dunk, but Davis able to lay it up and in. And Davis now eight here in the third and 12 for the game. 69-34, Bell Vernon. 47 seconds left here in the third. Ringer wow. deep three. Rattles out. Davis another rebound. He was open, so he took it. And he'll force a turnover here. Ringer trying to get, get it, it back, right but back. he has it knocked back by Kovac. Kovac between Mustangs getting fouled with 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Now Vernon starting all their home games this year, Gary, at 7 o'clock, unlike most schools that start at 7.30. They'll get us home a half hour earlier. Kind of like it. That foul was on Vecchioli, his first. I'm sorry, his second. And they'll start a new trend. Remember, we saw the high school football. You used to have all the games starting at 7.30, and then gradually... Everybody now starts at seven. As Kovac knocks down the first of two free throw attempts. Seven tonight for Trevor Kovac. He came in averaging 8.7 points a game. One thing I actually saw pointed out, I think Rob Ramsey had it on social media this week, the Brownsville head coach, as Kovac knocks down the second free throw. Wouldn't it be nice to see, and we used to have it usually once a year when I was in high school 30 years ago, the right after school game. Maybe have one a year, you have all the students come out for like a 3.30 game. Well, and schedule that as Galani comes back and he'll scoop it up and in for Bell Vernon. His first two of the game. Well, my senior year, all our games were in the afternoon. Wow. Because of the energy crisis. Oh, wow. <laughs> they want to leave the lights on in the school late. <laughs> we had to go to the North Union High School because they had a uh, coal furnace. Wow. They're going we, back way in the day. 1976, 77. 73, 34 leps over the Mustangs. We're back with the fourth and 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Movement Physiotherapy is here to serve you. Now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, Movement Physiotherapy treats back issues, knee and ankle pain, shoulder, hip, neck, and balance issues, and provides post-surgical rehab. Using aquatic therapy, manual therapy, therapeutic exercise, soft tissue massage, electrical stimulation, running analysis, and balance programs, Tyler Gasek and his team are ready to improve your health with physical therapy. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. I'm Bill Martin, and along with my partner, Trip Radcliffe, and Rob Harper, are attorneys at Radcliffe Martin Law. Our primary focus at Radcliffe Martin Law is representing people hurt in accidents. However, we handle workers' compensation claims, estate planning, real estate matters, and class actions. Radcliffe Martin Law is your hometown firm that offers conveniences not possible with Pittsburgh firms and provides better service than those firms. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys, 724-439-3939. Back here at Bell Vernon High School, 73-34. The right. Bell Vernon Leopards over the Laurel Highlands Mustangs as Gary and I try to double-check our scores after three quarters of play on the Bell Vernon side. Zion Moore leading, leading the way with 20. Curtis Wade with 19. Ethan Koffler, the Mustang, leading scorer so far with 12. And on the Bell Vernon side, Gary, you were wrong. Zion back on the floor. Wow. With 20 points. They haven't closed him out yet as Ringer kicks it in the corner, and that's Pratt for three. Missing there, the rebound pulled down by Alonzo Wade. So don't close out those Leopards yet, as Curtis Wade tried a little touch pass over there to Zion, got knocked out of play off of Bell Vernon and out, so the Mustangs get the basketball back. Never want to close out those starters too early. We have 7.26 left on a running clock here in the fourth quarter. Where are the turnovers for the game, Gary? We got the Mustangs at 27, and... Bell Vernon at nine. And another two for Ethan Koffler. So Koffler, 14 in this game now on the Laurel Highlands side. 73-36 Leopards. 7.06 left in regulation. Down low, Davis leaning and getting fouled. So Tommy Davis led to the free throw line for Bell Vernon to shoot two. 12 points for Tommy Davis tonight. Six Leopards in the scoring column. The five starters have accounted for all but two points which was scored by Dom Galani off the bench. 
And now the other subs taking their jerseys off, and we'll probably get a full-scale line change here on the Bell Vernon side as Davis misses on the first of two free throw attempts. They're going to have zero, Anthony Desenzo, 24, Vincenzo Francia, 30, Brandon Yeschenko. Who else do we got here? 30, and we said Yeschenko already. You're going to have Doherty getting set to check in for the shooter, Davis. And Luca Galani, number 12, a freshman, also into the game. And the free throw missed there from Davis. That will give him a little extended time on the floor as Laurel Highlands gets the rebound. Martin pulling a deep. Koffler, NBA range, three good again. So Ethan Koffler four has threes. four threes Damn. in this game and has 17 points on the Laurel Highlands side, leading the way for the Mustangs in the scoring department. There's Yeschenko for Bell Vernon, now resetting here between the circles, touching off to Davis from the foul line. He gets double teamed and shovels it off right to Ethan Koffler. Koffler races back, missed on the shot attempt, but Jaden Ringer, they're able to clean it up on the Laurel Highland side. First two of the game for Ringer. 73-41 Leopards, 6-24 left here in the fourth quarter, and now a timeout taken here by Joe Salvino. We'll take a quick 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy. Your local pharmacy. Casey Sports Cafe, located at 243 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown and owned by the Vernon family, wants you to know they have new evening hours. And those new hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the weekends. Come to Casey Sports Cafe and check out their new menu ideas and entrees. Casey's can also cater your next event. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Casey's is the place to eat. Call 724-550-4126. Back here at Bell Vernon High School, 73-41. Bell Vernon leading Laurel Highlands, 5-59. Left here in the fourth quarter. Mustangs with the basketball as Jaden Ringer will send it down to Seve Vecchio, who will lead and miss. Rebound pulled down by Bell Vernon's Vincenzo Francia as the Leps regain possession. Bell Vernon with their second line into the game right now. Doherty, good feed down low, and the finish from Anthony Desenzo, a fan favorite here at Bell Vernon. Desenzo, the 5'10 junior guard, gets his first two of the nights. Luke Martin back on the other side. That three might bring a rain. It wouldn't drop. And now the ball tied up there between Vecchiola and Dane Doherty. Get our live video stream here on WMBS, courtesy of attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Wood at Watson Mundorf LLP and Stewart Collision. Also on the South Union Township Sports Network tonight, brought to you there by Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group and Insurance Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, and physical therapist Jim Burns, United Bank and South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Doherty out in front, getting that two to go. So the Leopards get another player in the scoring column, Dane Doherty. His first two of the game, 77-41 Leopards. And Caden Smith unable to bring down that pass on the Laurel Highland side. Caden seeing his first varsity action of the night, 5-5 freshman guard, the son of Laurel Highlands head coach, John Smith. Where's John assisted this year by Shandon Marshall, Paul Eckert, and Dr. Jonathan Krisner. And Senzo Francia bringing it back across for the Leps with 422 left in regulation. 77-41, Bell Vernon. Doherty, no look, feed down low. Nice save to Senzo. Trying to pull it out there to, to Luca Golani, and the Mustangs able to take it away. Here's Caden Smith. He lost it off of his foot. Yes, he did, with DeCenzo fronting him. And the Leps will get it back as we go under four minutes left here in the fourth, Gary. And there's going to be another substitution. He has to check in, I think. Aaron <laughs> Snyder. Coming in on the Laurel Highlands side. He's going to replace Caden Smith. 
Now that's him on my, oh, there it is, there it is. There Anthony Desenzo sends it back in. Hard feed. That was a bullet from Francia intended for Luca Galani. Goes out of play and back over to Laurel Highlands. Bell Vernon getting some turnovers here. Yes. Late. The left certainly right back in the conference race, Gary, going at 2-1. and one. It'll take on Chase Fleener's Albert Gallatin Colonials coming up on Thursday. As a two-floater good there for Luke Martin. Martin now with six, 77-43. And Martin forces another turnover. He gives the Mustangs good minutes every time he's out there. And he'll send it off to D.J. Pratt, who will lay that one up and in. A little scooper there from D.J. Pratt. His first two of the game, 77-45. As we go under three minutes, Mustangs a little pressure on the basketball there. Chad Massey there along with D.J. Pratt. Ball rolled out of bounds and back over to Laurel Highlands. You have Aaron Snyder, Massey, Varney, Pratt, and Martin in the game on the Laurel Highlands side. And Martin will bring it back across. Varney setting the screen. Martin off to his left, flips it back to Snyder. Out again to Massey, that little mini weave up top. Martin comes back inside, pulls it out to Snyder, a little ball fake. And a little pivot off the defender, and he'll put it off the glass and in, Aaron Snyder. 77-47, Leopards. 2-12 left here in the fourth quarter. Near wing, Luca Galani for Bell Vernon. Back up top to Francia for the foul line, Doherty. Jumper short out the front of the rim. Varney the rebound there for Laurel Highlands. Off to Martin, looking for the home run ball down to DJ Pratt. He'll reposition underneath and get fouled going up by Brandon Yeschenko. With 150 to play. Good move there by Pratt to get the ball toward the hoop as if it was a shot, so he's going to get two shots. DJ Pratt, first of two free throws, no good. Hey, you guys did a nice job on Friday, Gary, yourself, TJ, and Sarah getting that game on the air for us. Oh, Mustangs know. and the Colonials, you guys are all back at it. Your crew together is coming Friday for Laurel Highlands and South Moreland as Pratt knocks down the second free throw. Oh, we're very tech savvy. Yes, I know you guys are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've had a nice team effort here over the last couple Far of weeks. Going to have to also thank last week Rick Fike and the folks at Fayette TV helping us out get a city council meeting on the air. Had a full team effort, of course. Nick Barczyk keeps it all going back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. And after a miss there from Desenzo, Luca Galani gets his first two of the game with a make. 79-48. 1.34 to play. Snyder for three off the mark. Rebound pulled down there by Vincenzo Francia. He'll look for a long pass down the floor. Luca Galani getting another basket there for the Leopards. So Luca with four here in the fourth. 81-48 Bell Vernon. 118 left here in regulation time. Caden Smith up top. Off to his left to Snyder and a foul caught underneath. With 109 to play. Dane Doherty getting the foul. Caden Smith will trigger it in. Vicenzo fronting it. Again, stay tuned for our post-game show brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville. Peach and Market. Gary will have your first federal savings loan association of Greene County. Final stats. Varney long wow. too far side. Good. Big guy showing some range. He has six. 81-50 now with 102 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Francia. High feet in the corner. Brought down there by Desenzo. Reset up to Luca Galani. Bounced at the foul line there from Doherty. Left of the lane let Yeschenko. Back out again to Francia and had it taken away there by Varney. Over to Caden Smith with 42 seconds left in regulation. Down to Massey. Back over to Caden. He'll take a deep three off the front of the rim. No good. The Mustangs like those long threes. And breaking back is Francia for Bell Vernon. He'll lean and miss. Varney another rebound for Laurel Highlands. Had it poked but able to save it there with 24 seconds left. Mustangs send it up to Snyder. Back on the far wing. That three attempt, no good there from Luke Grimm. But Varney finds the loose ball, lays it up and in with a left hand. Eight for Brennan Varney, 81-52. Leopards, nine seconds left. See if the Leps dribble it out or attempt another shot here late. it be Desenzo. They'll just send it high, and that'll do it. 81-52, your final score. 
Bell Vernon over Laurel Highlands back to tell you all about it on our postgame show. Brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Comes your way next year on WMBS, Trib Live High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. If a new or new-to-you vehicle is in your plans for 2024, you need to come see us at Autoland Hyundai, where you'll always get a great deal. New cars are arriving daily, so check them out. You'll find the car that fits your lifestyle and your budget. Whether you are looking for a brand-new 2024 Hyundai or a certified pre-owned Hyundai, family-owned by the Parker family and in the car business for over 60 years, we know that the secret of a successful business is treating our customers right. At Autoland, Service is as important as the sale, and we are proud of our award-winning service department. We offer Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain protection, and 3-year, 36,000-mile free complimentary maintenance. Visit our website, autolandhyundai.com, stop by our convenient location on 25 East Fayette Street in Uniontown, or call 724-437-9999. And remember, you always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zens is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zens Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zens Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Fatty liver is the buildup of excess fat in liver cells and affects about 100 million people in the U.S. Risk factors include being overweight, diabetes, high cholesterol, and hypertension. If you have fatty liver, our team at U.S. Digestive Health urges you to talk to your doctor about getting a blood or ultrasound-based test to check for liver scarring that can lead to cirrhosis. For more information, call us at 724-437-7677. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Bad hair day, bad day at the office. Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family-owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. 81-52, to 52, your final score. The Bell Vernon Leopards knocking off the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Our postgame show being brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Gary, is your final stats. They're brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Well, thanks, Brian. And uh, it was a pretty dominant performance by Bell Vernon as they uh, finish up the game at 81-52. to 52, But uh, really the last quarter was pretty much to mop up by the uh, benches on both sides. The uh, Bell Vernon scored 22 in the first, 22 in the second, 29 in the third, and just eight in the fourth for their total of 81. For the Mustangs, seven in the first, 16 in the second, 11 in the third, and 19 in the fourth for their total of 52. Individual scoring for the Mustangs, 
Suchovitz with five. DJ Pratt with three in the fourth quarter. Ethan Coughlin leading the way for the Mustangs with 17. He did have four three-pointers. Aaron Snyder with a deuce in the fourth quarter. Jaden Ringer with two. Luke Martin with six. Brendan Varney with eight. Shane Layton with six. And Seve Vecchiola with three. Once again, the Mustangs plagued by the turnovers. 29 again this evening, Brian. 29 turnovers. Back-to-back -back games with 29 turnovers. And uh, that's not a good recipe for no. success. On the Bell Vernon side, Anthony DeCenzo with two. Curtis Wade, 19. Zion Moore under his average, only a 20, but didn't, did not play much in the second half. Trevor Kovach with eight. Alonzo Wade with 12. Dominic Galani with two. I'm sorry, four. Tommy Davis with 12. And Luke Galani with four. Dane Doherty off the bench late for two. The uh, Belvern Leopards late had uh, several turnovers of their own, but they just finished with 16 turnovers, and they out-rebounded the Mustangs 35-23. to Again, 81-52, to your final score. Belvern knocking off Laurel Highlands tonight. The Mustangs lose their eighth straight. They drop now to 2-11 on the season, 0-3 in conference play. The win improving the Belvern and Leopards now to 7-3 overall, 2-1 in conference play. And the Leps return to action Thursday on the road at Albert Gallatin. Taking on the Colonials, Laurel Highlands back at home on Friday. Taking on the South Moreland Scotties. We'll have that game for you both on the WMBS and the South Union Township Sports Network. Facebook pages also have coverage both on the radio and on Facebook Friday as Uniontown travels to Elizabeth Forward to take on the Warriors. Gary, I enjoyed it. Absolutely. It's uh, basketball season, and yes. we're having fun with it. Yep, and I'm, I'm sure I'll talk to you on Friday night, even they won't be with you, but you'll have a great call with TJ of the Mustangs and the South Moreland Scots. Have to thank Gary. Snags behind the camera. Nick Barcheck back inside our Davis & Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. I'm Brian Morozak. Have yourselves a pleasant good evening. Again, your final score, Bell Vernon 81, and Laurel Highlands 52. Song, everybody, from right, Bell Vernon High School.